I get a call, there is a mom and babies living in an alley. Will she like come after us and charge us? No, or no, she she's won't. just real shy. The alley is very busy, the cars were driving quickly. So I plugged in the address and it was an hour and a half away, but I knew that I had to do it. So the puppies are in no, here? I got them already. Oh, you have the puppies, okay. Yes. Smaller than I thought that they were. I spent 30 minutes looking for additional puppies and ended up seeing the mom and she was under a car. Hi, mama. Are you wondering where your babies are? I tried to approach her, I had some food. Her fear was just stronger than her desire to come to me. I wish she knew that I was there to help her, but I didn't yet. I spent an hour trying to get her, but then she just ran away. I wasn't able to get her. I had such reservation about the mom. You never want to leave the moms behind. Do I leave the puppies in the bushes? It's a busy alley with cars that drive fast and not a good neighborhood. So I ended up putting the puppies in my car. I have four puppies in the back of my car. We're heading to the vet to get examined, free treatment. They were five weeks old, so really they shouldn't have been away from mama quite yet, but I knew they could eat food. We headed back to my house, and I gave them all three baths. What have you been eating? So big. Fed them, and of course, I continued to think about them all. So that night after everybody was tucked in, I promised the puppies that I would get their mom. So I drove down there the next day, 40 miles, another hour and a half there. I did see Mama, and she was in and out of different people's yards. She would kind of come and go, and then she ended up disappearing. I would just lay in bed thinking about this mom. My dogs are Mama dogs from the shelter, and I have a firm belief that never leave any Mama dogs behind. I'm like, okay, it's day three. Again, traffic, an hour and a half, and nothing. No sighting at all. It was a little bit of a hot day, and stray dogs tend to hide when the weather is warm. So I knew I had to come up with a little bit of a better plan. So I called my friend, Lisa. We set out there on a Sunday morning. We set the trap, and we kind of had to stay far back because it was just pretty skittish. We saw her, and she was kind of itching towards the alley. I was just getting so excited. It was like, okay, she's going here for trap. Fingers crossed. Get in there. Get in there. And she snipped the food, ate the food around the trap, and she laid down just right next to the trap. What? She's just sitting there? She's going. Okay, wait. She's... We waited a total of 30 minutes. Then she got up and she sniffed around. In. She went into the trap, jumped down to the alley. Okay, good. Hi, Mama, we got you. And of course, she's nervous in the trap. I got out of my car. We got Mama. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mom. And I told her everything was going to be okay. And I was going to reunite her with her babies. You're okay now. We loaded her in my car. We drove her to the bed. I spent a little bit of time with her there trying to give her some comfort, but she was not as. Mama had a bath. And soon we're going to reunite her with her puppy. It took literally like five seconds. They were just so happy. Oh, yeah. I swear I've been feeding them. I've been feeding them. Sam, the only boy, was so depressed for three days. And he definitely came back to life when he saw his mama. And he just was missing his mom. so happy and made them their own bedroom with just warm beds and blankets. And then I just worked with mamas. Her behavior 
always kind of run away from the human. It was all new for her. You can do it. You can do it. I had as many friends come over as possible so she'd get used to the human touch and trust people and know that people were kind and loving. And each day she bloomed a little bit more. It's really a special thing to watch when a dog transforms and starts to trust a human. The babies grew and flourished and I definitely kept them with mama for a good 10 weeks and they were adopted rather quickly. I asked somebody for names and suggestions and somebody suggested the Sex and the City characters. Carrie is now Olive and she has an amazing family and a big husky brother. Oh my goodness. Look how handsome your big brother is. Charlotte has a beautiful family with another dog who looks just like her. Miranda, now Willow, the largest of the puppy. Just a lovely couple adopted her. And then Sam, now named Shmoo, was the last of the puppies to be adopted. He has a lovely family with an older brother who looks just like him. The sweetest part of this whole story is finding a home for that mom who had just been on the streets for a year and a half, two years. So they renamed her Rue, Mama Rue, and they love her and they value her. And I get photo updates and videos all the time and it's what I live for and I just love it. Every dog on the face of this earth deserves to be part of a family unit, deserves to feel safe and warm and loved and I won't stop until I get that for every dog. Hey, stop grounding. Like, comment, and subscribe.